All right, Aries, welcome in. Welcome in to you. I'm going to use this deck for you. All right. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a love reading for you. Let's see what's going on. Feel free to swap around the energies. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. If you'd like to read tarot and learn tarot from me, there's a link in my description box below for the wisdom of the tarot, my course on learning to read tarot. All right, in the flow. Choosing your path, all is possible. Watching clouds, lie back, rest and relax. I feel like some of you have made a good decision recently. Like you've determined what your like really good choices uh, recently and determined what your path is. Everything is going along smoothly. I don't think you have to push at all right now. I think this summer we have the North Node moving into your sign of Aries. Um, at 29 degrees Aries, it always goes retrograde. So it starts out at 29 degrees. So it's going to be very... Um, not jarring. I'm not going to, not jarring, but sort of like things are like your ducks are in a row. You're all lined up. You're ready for that to happen. You're ready for things to move forward. Now, North Node, even if you are not an Aries North Node, you could be watching this. Um, but Aries North Node is about um, taking some kind of action. All right. A celebrating some kind of leadership, being in, being um, um, authentically you. Okay, and choosing that path. Five of Wands underneath. Judgment card. The Two of Cups. Wow, the Ace of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. I do think there's a Cancerian energy of moving forward. Um, I do think things are, uh, maybe you're feeling things are not quite ready to move forward yet with a love partner. Uh, you might feel like um, there's a lot to do before this happens. But it is going to happen. The Ace of Pentacles planting the seeds and the chariot moving forward. Cancerian energy. Somebody was struggling. Five of Wands. Either you were struggling with this or they were struggling recently. Let's see. Two of Swords. Yeah, nine of Swords. Nine of Cups. Three of Swords. Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles. What? Queen of Cups, Page of Wands, Eight of Wands. Somebody is struggling. Somebody is struggling big time. I feel like you are up here, the Two of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. Like, I feel like you might be really freaked out about somebody. This person is having a lot of struggles. Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands. And I feel like you're just watching this. Like there's nothing for you to do. There's nothing for you to do. Um, what is the struggle here? S Leo, wow. Sun, Death, High Priestess. Woo! Ten of Swords. They're done with a relationship. All right. They're done with a relationship. This person has had, has had it, has been through the ringer. All right. Um, I feel like at one point they did feel heartbroken or they did feel like I'm sad this is ending or I'm sad this is so terrible or, you know, I mean, none of us get into relationships thinking the bad stuff. Right. And this person really was struggling, not wanting to, um, not wanting to have a third party situation, not wanting to um, kind of um, have to end it. I feel like they really struggled with ending it, but they're ending it and they're happy about that. Okay. So three of swords, five of swords, five of pentacles. Uh, and you're just sitting here watching Aries, which is like not Aries like at all. So it's like, I can't take any action. I can't take any movement forward. I can't do anything to help this person. And that's really freaking you out. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Leo. Okay, I see Cancerian energy twice here. So not Pisces, just Cancer and Leo. Cancer, Scorpio, and Leo. Um, Pisces may be here because of the water. But anyway, eh, Queen of Cups. Anyway, 
Two of Swords and Nine of Swords. What's going on here? King of Pentacles. You could help. The Strength card. Lots of passion. Three of Cups and the Tower. Wow. All right. I feel like you can help this person and you're going to help this person. Um, I feel like they get kicked out into the snow or they kind of self-sabotage themselves because they feel terrible about this ending. They do. They feel lousy about it. All right. Um, but it's got to end. It's possible that um, there were a lot of secrets in this marriage. This person may have been cheated on by their spouse when they, you know, and they were, they actually did love their spouse and they were cheated on. And so this might have been quite a, um, I feel like you're like, I'm not, I'm not moving forward. I'm not doing anything because this person is going through such a rough time. Three of swords, eight of pentacles, two of pentacles, king of swords and the ace of wands. Yeah. I just feel like they are now, they're not heartbroken anymore. I feel like this person has really worked on themselves. Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, King of Swords. I think they see this for what it really was or what it really is. And that's even making it kind of worse because it's like, I really thought this person loved me and they didn't love me. I really thought they did. That's kind of sad, right? That's kind of sad. But on the other hand, I feel like you do. I feel like you do love this person. All right. And you're definitely a past life soulmate for this person. Um, they have been manipulated. They have been cheated on. Uh, so you're going to have to be King of Pentacles, strength card, really powerful energy, Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is less kind of formidable, formidable, right? <laughs> less formidable than, um, the King of Pentacles. I, I feel like you have a lot of resources. I feel like you could really help this person especially because they're getting five of pentacles. Um, but there's nothing to do. Like there's nothing, you can't really just be like, uh, let me help you. I feel like you have to wait until this person comes to you. And boy, is that not Aries energy <laughs> at all. You're like, what do I mean? What do you mean? I've got to, I've got to like sit back and wait. Yeah. You've got to sit back and wait. You've got to sit back and wait. Wait for it. All right, Aries, wait for it. In time for Pisces season. What? Okay, September. This is, I mean, I'm like, what? I feel like Pisces season um, next year is about um, a true commitment uh, I feel like this might take the summer for this person to fully, it doesn't feel fast to me because I think there's money things to un, unfurl. This has been going on for maybe two years already. Um, so this is not moving fast. What's moving fast is their awareness that this is over and this person was not a good person to them. And that's what they're dealing with. Okay. That's what they're dealing with. You're just on the sidelines. This is a huge lesson for Aries, which is like, there's nothing to do. There's nothing to do. Um, this person is going to come toward you to talk. Okay. This person is going to come toward you to talk, to communicate. Wheel of Fortune, Page of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Empress. This person's going to come toward you to talk in divine timing. I know another thing that pisses off Aries in divine timing. This person is going to come toward you to talk. This person is a future life partner for you. And you know it. I almost feel like their inner knowing is there. I feel like, you know, it, uh, I feel like this person is so swamped with this kind of thing that they don't know it yet, but they will. All right. Uh, maybe by September, they'll finally be aware of this. And it's going to be like hard for you to sit on your hands. Okay. You're like having to watch this. You might be a colleague of theirs, but you're watching it. Like they could be a friend. Okay. Who's leaving their husband or their husband has left them or their wife has left them or something like that. And you know, 
been in love with them for a while, haven't you? I think so. I think so. Um, so I'm going to continue on with this reading. Let's see where we go. I want to get a sense of um, how this happens, and I'll, I'll dig into that divine timing for you, okay? Link is in the description box below, Aries. I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.